Okay, I plugged this in and it wasn't working. There's a rotating mechanism in there that shines a light through this. I guess it's kind of like a prismatic sphere here and shines light on the wall. It's kind of this Christmas, cheap Christmas decoration instead of putting up lights on the outside of the house. You know, something I would do, <laughs> save effort. Um, but this thing is uh, did stop working after it was plugged in for a while, so obviously it heats up. Something just gets disconnected. You can see it rotating in there. Uh, there is a bit of light coming out of there. Right, but it's just, um, just obviously not emitting the light that great. So let me take this thing apart and see what's going on. Oh, some tiny screws in there. Okay, it was a Torx. This screwdriver here. I think this is the first time <laughs> I've used this thing. It's a Torx T10 times 4. Okay. Good use. I've had it for what, 25, 30 years. <laughs> uh, okay, there's that. globe oh this thing okay let me plug it in okay it rotates so lights are going off I don't know if that green is going off though is that the only issue you can see it on your hand. Is that the only thing? Is that green is gone? Red is okay. Blue. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. Just did a clean up here. <clears throat> In the midst of doing a, another Viking radio, but other things are <laughs> other things came in before that so <laughs> I gotta I gotta work on this just to get it out of my hair um okay let's uh, take this apart looks like there's uh, some Phillips screws down there and we'll see kind of voltages are going to those um, LEDs Okay, I'm taking this apart. Got two screws out here. It's not coming out, so I thought <clears throat> this retaining nut needs to be uh, loosened off. Yeah, I did put the pliers on it, and then I realized, no, that's made to look like it's a proper electrical threaded connection. It's not. It's just part of the plastic housing. There's no separation there. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Um, they just made it look like a proper connection. Why don't they just, they could have made it look like anything. They made it look like a nut you could take off. <laughs> I got to attempt to take this little ring off here. Wish me luck. Okay, I got it. I just pried up on it. Hopefully that thing's still functional, but... Okay, we'll take this off. That should come off. That motor's loose underneath it. It should all come out now. It's not plugged in. There's a little board down there. Oh, a little power supply, okay, reduces the 120 AC down to uh, moderate DC for these LEDs. Okay. Okay, I was going to go crazy with this, this thing. I was looking up data sheets on the chips. And I thought, just hang on here. <laughs> so, 
obviously there's three LEDs. One, I know one's not working. Uh, just test them all. I have this, this little, you know, it's just AA batteries. I think it's down to like 2.5 volts right now. And we'll just check, uh, you know, if this voltage across this LED should work and it definitely should with 2.5. And, oh yeah, it does quite good. So, um, that LED is fine. And then this LED, which is blue. Everything's unplugged right now, so don't worry. Okay, so that blue does come on. Blue takes quite a higher voltage, so even though it's a lot dimmer, it should be uh, should be correct. And then this one, the green, you know that to definitely light almost as much as the red. And it doesn't at all. So that that LED is out. Out. I don't know if I can just put a standard LED in there. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, these aren't your standard LEDs. I'll have to look these up. Um, these have a contact right underneath the LED. There's even a little. Uh, uh, that white compound there underneath just for better transfer so I'm gonna have to look these up okay I was just gonna throw this thing out anyway so <laughs> why am I gonna bother look up LEDs to buy I just put on a standard LED just to see what what's going on standard green so hopefully I can Plug this in with one hand here as as we look at the LED. Okay, that seems bright. Green seems seems definitely brighter than before. Green seems dim. This definitely seems bright enough to shine. That motor's turning. I like this motor actually. It's straight 120 volt motor. Straight off the main. So is that green lighting. Can you tell the other bright lights are so bright? Oh. Oh, that's getting hot. Okay, I'm just gonna do some multimeter and just check some of the numbers on that. The volts coming through there. Okay. Okay, check my voltages. That is 2.2, that is 2.35, that has 3 point, almost 3.3, .3, so that makes sense. But that LED, smoking hot. That thing's gonna burn out in no time. Okay, <laughs> put two LEDs on there, <laughs> see what happens. Uh, a lot of heat, but not a lot of light. There. Oof. Not much green there. It's slowly burning out, if any. Okay, I put a resistor in here instead. I'm not sure why I'm fussing with this thing. I should just throw it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, plugging it in. Eyes on. Okay. That, you can't tell, but that red is flickering. Camera is kind of blending that in, but that red is flickering with that resistor and that green. Green is better. If it lights better. So these, these are warm, but they're not hot. This is warm but not hot so that wrister is doing its job except it's in interfering with this blinking i mean that doesn't even matter because the thing is a kaleidoscope this thing just reflects so that would just 
you know, basically do the same kind of, um, what am I trying to say? Same kind of effect, right? Because it's just flashing and flickering with, uh, with this piece of glass and that glow, but yeah, it's starting to heat up. Definitely starting to heat up. Yeah, that blue's flickering more now too. I get up the resistance. Actually, probably lower the resistance. Oh, geez, that's getting. Whatever, if it burns up, who cares? What I will do is lean up against that uh, circular plate there beneath my finger with a bit of that paste and see if that will transfer that heat um, into the plate, which, which it's meant to do. So that's why these are keeping cool. All right, enough of this. Okay, there's my contraption here. <laughs> Resistor, the standard LED. I stole a little bit of that heat transfer paste snuck it underneath there i don't even have any i took some off the the other led so let's test it see how long this is going to last <laughs> that's only going to go on for uh, about a minute but it seems to be working i mean that's the effect anyway right okay there it is the lights off Okay, it's been over 10 minutes. Looks like the thing's still working. Okay, the originals are still cool. They're actually not even warm. It's crazy. Mm. I can do block those the other two. They're not so bright. There's this green one. It's actually still pretty bright. Yeah, it's it's hot. You have to hold your hand there a long time. So they are it's not burning out. It's definitely as bright as it could be. It's dissipating the heat a little bit, being connected to that metal plate. So, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> um, Ten minutes. It's working, so it's good. Yeah, if this keeps going, I'm just going to wrap it up, put it back together. So. As far as I'm concerned, this is done. Check it off the list. Boom.